And I'll mention one hadith that the proponents of this view, Mabna Wahdat al Afaq, mention. They rely on a bunch of ahadith of Ahlul Bayt to prove this. And I'll mention one hadith Sahih at Abdul Rahman ibn Abi Abdullah. It's Sahih. The, the hadith is authentic. This man, Abdul Rahman ibn Abi Abdullah, he says, I asked the Imam al Sadiq one day, Sa'altuhu an hilali Ramadan, yagummu alayna fi tis wa ishreena min sha'ban. Once again, just like the other hadith I mentioned, it's the 29th of Sha'ban. Tomorrow's Ramadan, one or is it 30th of Sha'ban? We don't know. And he says there's clouds in the air, in the, in the sky. We can't see. Maybe the moon is there, maybe it's not. So what do we do? He says, فَقَالَ لَا تَصُمْ إِلَّا أَن تَرَى Unless you see the moon, do not fast tomorrow with the intention of Ramadan. Yes, tomorrow you can fast with the intention of Mustahab, ma fi dhimma, you want to re redo uh, you know, an older fast, you can do that. But if you do not see the moon of Ramadan, you can't fast with the intention of Ramadan. You have to see it, then fast. And then the Imam said these words, and this is what they used to prove their point. He says, فَإِن شَهِدَ أَهْلُ بَلَدٍ آخر فقضه. The Imam said, if after Ramadan, people from another city, this is what the Imam says, another city, they come and they testify that we saw the moon of Ramadan on that night, that you guys never saw it, then you have to make that day up. Remember we said the proponents of the first view, they said the Imams never addressed this point. They said, what do you mean he never addressed it? This is Sahih at Abdul Rahman, he asking the Imam al-Sadiq, what do I do? I didn't see the moon of Ramadan. He says, if you didn't see it, don't fast. But then after that, if people came from a distant place and they told you that we saw the moon of Ramadan, we saw it that night which you never saw it, that means the next day was Ramadan and you never fasted. Now you have to make it up. It's very simple. Now, how do they... Uh, now, what do they use exactly to prove that you can rely on other areas? They say the Imam said a he said it in a general way. He said, Ahlu baladin akhar. He said if it's from another place, another city. The Imam didn't give a radius, you know, if it's a city in your country, 200 miles. He said another city. It could be China, it could be India, it could be Africa, it could be even New Zealand and Australia. If there was a limit, a condition, a radius, he should have said it. The Imam said it so generally. If, if people from another place, they come and see the Hilal, they see the Hilal and they come and testify, خلاص, you have to make it up. Another place, another city. So the Imam did not confine it to a close city, 140 for example mile radius, no. He said a city, a city means any city in the world. The Imam could have, the Imam could have uh, you know, uh, said it's, it's a close nearby city, but he didn't. So based on this hadith, they say you can rely on the entire world.